Oh, well, if you can hear me above this wind noise. <sighs> yes, I finally made it. By parking my bike up in the village and walking up the hill. There's a routine graveyard down there with some old stones. 1696, 1681. But they had boards around them, I think, that had been vandalised or they'd been. Uh, renovated or maintained somehow. This is the ancient St. Patrick's Chapel. So the church dates from 16 or something and this is the ancient part. And these are the old graves cut into the stone. Which must have contained bodies at one time. In medieval times probably. 1200, 1300 I think they date from. Very small figures, although they were in those days. Not sure what them holes are at the top. I think they're fair. Wooden crosses, probably. That's a bit dicey down there, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't think I'll risk it in this wind, I might end up falling down there. So there they are, the ancient St. Patrick stone coffins. Probably had slabs on the top at one time with information on carved in old. Oh, it's really about this. Uh, some information on this thing. Let's have a look. Just getting all this. See, look at that old cross. in French. Ah, the ruins of this chapel and rock cut graves form one of the oldest surviving Christian monuments in northwest England dating from the 8th century AD. That's 700 and something. The ancient and atmospheric ruin belongs to one of the earliest Christian sites in northwest England. <laughs> Uh, originally had stone or wooden markers. Nothing quite like these is known to survive anywhere else. Excavations in the 1970s found some stuff, a bone calm. In this depression we found many burials. Stone carving, bird's head. Uh, Norman Conquest, the old rock cut graves. Not anymore, I don't know. Well, let's not say you are here. Hmm. Yes, but I'd have been around with metal detectors to find a gold hoard. Oh, that's some more carvings here where a little body's been. It's down there. Another part of the ancient chapel. That's where I've just been, down there, the old churchyard. Oh, you can get down. Those steps, and you know that. Anything carved on that stone will have been worn away many years ago. Types of stone here, oh, little ones, big ones. It's down there, it's like a bit dodgy, do not I'll try not to fall down. Oops. Not the 
bird's head, is it? Not the easiest to say, the one clunking on my head, although that's maybe the people, I don't know why I've got my helmet on. Oh, hell. Has got any helmet on in case it gets clunked on the head? <coughs> See a metal detector around here, would you find a Viking hoard of coins? Snag with a bloody thorn or something. <coughs> Things I do for vlogging. I kind of like eighth century. Still, I mean Roman. Look at the Roman times when that stuff dates. Yeah. After you. Tide has just been in, and as I said, you won't be able to see much. We've been a wide angle, but all the hills of the Lake District start there. Some really big ones up there, and it looks like it might be raining there. <laughs> That's a recently restored Art Deco hotel from the boom days of this resort. The Midland, lovely. You know, sea creatures carved on the front and uh, on the inside of it. Oh, that's a nice old pub, isn't it? An old home. 